You know, first love sucks. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, it's a terrible experience for me. It all started with my first crush, a girl named Amber. Smart, beautiful, funny, easy to talk to. Yeah, this girl was perfect. If she was a Pokemon, she would be an Eevee. I don't know, just, she reminds me of an Eevee. But like, you know, a shiny one. The only downside was that... <laughs> she hated me. Yeah, no joke, she did not like me at first. Now, if she was an anime character, she would be Sakura. That would make me Naruto. Like, young Naruto. Because everybody hated him. Like, legit, she would give me the cold shoulder all the time. When I was young, I was an introvert, so I didn't say much. And the sentences I did speak really was irrelevant to someone like her. And I never wanted to date her. I always feel like dating would either make or break a relationship. Mostly break, because it's a risk. When you want to date somebody, you're risking it all, man. And I felt this plutonic love for Amber. And I... And I keep saying with my son was damn, jeez. I just wanted to be her friend. To be there for her, but, you know, she didn't acknowledge my existence. I mean, it kind of hurts being around her. And what made matters worse was that she was mutual friends with my best friends. So, we would always hang out. Hence why I was always silent when I went out. <laughs> Every moment I was with her, it was a mixture of excitement and sadness. Should I say hi to her? Nah. It was always Amber this and Amber that. Yeah, I get to see and spend time with the girl that I love, but what's the point when she doesn't even care about me? You get my dilemma. Is this what first love's supposed to be like? Years and years went by, and my feelings for her were resilient. It would not die. I would see her time and time again. Hey Amber, how are you doing today? You hear something? I swear it would always be silence between us. I mean, did I even exist? Until one night, in the pool of my tears, I decided, enough is enough. I soon became heartless and, you know, I gave up on love. Okay, you know, don't, don't do that. On the outside, I was still the go-lucky loser that I was, and in the inside, I was just freaking hollow. I gave my heart to someone who didn't want it, and I got hurt. Uh, I don't regret it, but I learned from it, and it did leave me in a dark place for a while. Okay, now, come on guys, um, Amber is an amazing person. I'm not painting her as some antagonist to my life. Maybe just a little bit. In reality, she was not interested in me as much as I was interested in her. That's the truth. She did not care. Or, or did she? It took me eight long years to finally get over her. So, I hope to forget her. But then, God was like, no. After throwing away my useless heart, Amber started to talk to me. For whatever reason. I don't, the stars must have been aligned that day. The universe loves to mess with me. So, her and I talked and she was able to realize I exist. I learned a lot about her, surprisingly, and she was even willing enough to share some personal stuff about her life, and so was I. After many long years of pain and isolation, um, I was able to build a mutual relationship with her just like that. <laughs> 
Like, it took a while, but hey, you know, patience is a virtue. And till this day, I am still good friends with her.